Chat, can I show you something? Hello, Slayer of the God Wolf. Listen, you're 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 sidetracking me. I need to show you something. This is very important. Very, very important that I show you this. So this is on Scribbler's channel. It is a story of it is a fan fiction of Twilight Twilight getting really obsessed with Applejack's rear end. Now I I often get excited when Scribbler makes these things because usually she doesn't she doesn't steer into inappropriate territory all too often. So whenever she does this, it's a little treat. But I, I I have some some things to say about this uh, thumbnail. Twilight would never do this. I'm putting on my brony cap. Like this is this is where everybody leaves the stream. <laughs> I'm putting on my brony cap right now. I don't think Twilight would ever do this. Which I guess yes, that's why it's called fan fiction. But Twilight getting in Applejack's face like this and putting on Applejack's hat. Twilight Twilight is a bottom. All right. She is very timid. She would never, ever, 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 ever do this. And I don't want to go as too far to say that, you know, whoever wrote... I haven't listened to it. I guess the crux of what I'm trying to say is that I will be reacting to this story at some point in the future. I want to give it a week to breathe, but I will be reacting to this. But the way this picture itself is like Apple, it's like Twilight is the top and Applejack is the bottom. And I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't sound correct. <laughs> but yeah, the crux of the story is Twilight gets really obsessed with Applejack's butt. And that's all the information I have. Do not spoil me on the story. I can't see the chat right now. Also, sometimes butts are shaped like apples, so I don't know what that has anything to do with anything, but there you go. So I will be reacting to that at some point in the future. Love it when Scribbler does shit like this. Let me move this to the side so I can actually see the chat. But I'll contest you. The name says it all, though. If it has something to do with science, then that makes sense. Yeah, I have I have a feeling a lot of the time in the fan fiction, Twilight is going to hide behind the notion that it's like, this is for science. This isn't weird. <laughs> you know, like, I, I guess they're dating in the story, but it's like, you, I'm, I'm trying to think, would it be weirder for Twilight to just be like, let me, oh my God, my cat. My cat has been yowing, dude. My cat has been yapping. I'll get to you in a minute. Are you mf -er? <laughs> Yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, freaking Scribbler. Scribbler's, make, Scribbler's made this story. It's up, it's up, it's up on her channel right now. Go listen to it before I listen to it, and then watch me listen to it. Or listen to me listen to it in a few weeks or something. Cat feed me. Her food bowl is full of food. So I don't know what she could be yowling about. But yeah, I'm very interested. Uh, also, before, before we get into the game, I got to talk about something extremely boring. Darkest Dungeon 2 is now on consoles. And as you would expect, it's been released with a couple it's been released with a couple of bugs. The console versions are buggy. But I want to I want to say that I love Red Hook's PR team because the instant somebody was like, "Oh, they're bugs." It's like they hopped on Twitter and was like, "We're working on a patch right now." We're working on a patch right, right now. The patch is not out, but they are working on a patch. If you go to their Twitter and you click on their tweet that's like, hey, it's been released on consoles, and you go in the in the comments, half of them are people like complaining about the bug 
or about bugs. And they're just like, we're working on a fix. We're working on a fix. We're working on a fix. Which is way better than a lot of video game PR teams, dude. I saw that. You getting it? I already have it for Switch and PS4. I have two separate versions of that game on console. And I... I, I if, if you're going to guess that the Switch version is a little bit more buggier than the PS4 version, you would be right. You would be correct to make that assumption. But yeah, I love how quick Red Hook responds to that stuff, and I'm excited for the patch. I've been thinking about... I have been thinking about streaming Darkest Dungeon 2, but I, honestly, I'm waiting for the patch to come out. As soon as they hit the patch, then I'll I'll bring the game to you guys. I love Darkest Dungeon 1 and Darkest Dungeon 2.